and uh, so clips i dot x equal to i times 50 because obviously the first is start at 0 coordinate, the second is starts at 50 coordinate, the third is starts at 100 coordinate and the last is start at uh, 150 coordinate. The y, uh, the, the y, so the clips i dot y is 0, so it's 0 for all. And uh, the width and the height is both 0. So clip side that width and height equal to zero. Uh, for now that's all we need to do. So the destructor will just destroy the image. So player, player, and we just read the surface. So SDL free surface and we free the surface called the image. Uh, that's all and we implement the setter which will ju uh, getter which will just return the box so sdl rect get box and this will just return the address of box i think that's what it called get box or get rect no get rect get rect okay the next thing is uh, set x well and get x well these are very simple as well so oh this is not inside the player player okay so player oh okay so int player get x well and this will just simple return with the x velocity return with x well okay and void player set well or set x well i think set x well okay and this will just simple set the x well to the given value so int well okay and x well equal to well so these are very simple functions just simple getters and setters okay and uh, move function this will be the most uh, so the most complicated of all of them so first we implement just the show because this will be very simple we just use the sdl blit surface so sdl blit surface we blit the image uh, at coordinate box so address of box and we uh, we write, draw it to the s no the clips sorry about that so first just there will be one image so the clip zero later there will be a frame variables and we put the frame variables here which will cause the basic animation but for now uh, not matter where w where we go it will just show the clip zero uh, image and the last parameter where do we want to put this is the address of box and that simple is the show function and the last function is the most complicated one the move function actually in the move function make the collision detection gravity almost everything so that's why it is so complicated uh, for now i just add the uh, box dot x uh, plus equal x well and box dot y plus equal y well okay so for uh, for now i just keep it very simple uh, there is no collision detection gravity er uh, nothing so we can test it out that if it show and how much error does it have so i just go back to game dot age and include the player so include player dot h so i just include the player and create a player a variable actually just a pointer in here so player and call it player one 
okay and in the game that cpp in the constructor i just create the actual player so player one equals to new player and i just give oh load image player dot bmp oh that's it it was just as simple as that to create the player and in the start function so in here i just show the player and move the player so first i just move the player so player that move this will not do uh, anything at the moment because we add zero to the x and zero to the y which will never be something okay and uh, player one show oh you should use the arrow member selection operator because it's pointer right and uh, in case of move we have to give the map no map i wanted to say and in case of show we have to give the screen now we can try to compile it and after we uh, okay more error than i could say so go back to player dot h oh so go back to base dot h and i forget to save it and i forget to get the needed include file so include sdl slash sdl dot h okay now we try to compile it okay a little bit less error player dot h 12 oh that should be a column okay okay much less error now we have just four error actually uh, after we uh, make this two one so fix this two one game.cpp 129 so game.cpp 100 and uh, oh not player player one and in here too it is good there okay so player.cpp 47 okay i can make a mistake so it is inside the player now we can probably compile it and run it okay nothing appears on the screen it should be appear right here but why exactly is that Oh, the within the height is 50, not zero. Okay, now we can compile and run. And as you can see, our player is appeared there. So now the com most confusing part of the program is come, the collision detection. And with the collision detection, the uh, gravity itself. Okay now uh, we will make the collision detection inside the move and the uh, actual moving will be down there so first we check the collision okay so similarly then we did in case of uh, game.cpp we have to just uh, check the collision if something is uh, this is something can be just seen the screen so i just copy these four lines and actually these lines because this will be the same so just come player the cpp and just co i just copy it in here so basically we do the same thing we just get the uh, scene 
so the rectangle which can be seen on the screen and we use two for loop to go through all of them and we check that is there a collision or not okay so let's get started so if the map so the map i j equals to zero then we just continue we don't want to check a collision with the nothing right okay uh, so if there is no then we have to get the coordinate vi which uh, so we have to get get the relative coordinate of the rectangle of the tile so i use an sdl rect structure to store the coordinate and i call it destination rectangle and uh, the coordinate for that is j times 50 uh, minus base class uh, chord dot x and the second will be i times 50 and it has 50 width and 50 height okay this should be familiar to you from the game but cpp we use the same thing to get the absolute coordinate of the rectangle on the screen now we need to check that if there was a collision or, or not so if collision and we give the address of box and the address of desk rect okay uh, so now we just check there was a collision if there was a collision then we have to check where does the collision happened okay so as i said this will be uh, quite confusing uh, so uh, so if destruct dot y uh, is greater or equal than box dot uh, y plus box dot height then uh, we have a collision and whatever we collide is under us so i set a boolean value called ground oh I don't make a ground does it do, did we nope so bool ground so this boolean will be true if we are on the ground and false if we are not on the ground and initialize it here to true so uh, ground equal to false I wanted to say false and now so if the rectangle was under us then we are on the ground so ground equal to uh, one and uh, we set the y well back to zero because if we are on the ground we don't want to actually uh, fall more okay uh, and now we ch uh, can check that if the, the thing that we collide is upper us so as if now we check that is it upper us so dest rect dot y uh, plus dest rect dot height is less or equal than box dot y and if so then the thing so the yes it is upper us so the tile is upper us so I just you I just said box dot x plus plus uh, because I don't want to stuck and I said the y well back to 5 this will be the uh, gravity okay and uh, basically that was it now we have to check that if it uh, left uh, lefter or is it righter than the player all right the next thing to do is to check that if it's a right or collision by the way uh, i'm not explaining probably too well this collision detection because it's not something that i can explain in words it is easier much much easier believe me if you draw it a paper and uh, write what corner is what coordinate and uh, uh, and try to find out that when there is a collision so I recommend uh, you, if you do not understand, to draw it, it on the, onto a pap uh, paper and try to find out what I did and why. 
because I can't really explain it in words. Okay, so 